so welcome back to another you know in the kitchen um so today i will be making some garlic herb cauliflower and mushroom okay so stay tuned okay guys so here i have um the mushroom i have 16 ounces, or you could say one pound so i'm just washing them in just some cold water most persons don't wash there but i rather to be safe some person they just uh use a napkin and they just clean the out part the other part okay so after i wash them now I'm just ensuring that there's no water leave inside okay and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut them in half you can cut them in smaller part if you get the larger um, mushroom I'm using half of an onion and I'm cut as you can see I'm cutting them in small pieces Hot, so I just had two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil it's melted so now I'm going to add the onion keep this on low flame and let it saute for about three minutes I'm going to add my mushroom now, but as you can see, I leave this temp on because this temp it bring a it bring right. So this temp give it a slight crunch. So I'm just gonna pour it all in, and I'm gonna leave it there for another. Three to five minutes so okay guys so in the meantime while the mushroom is sauteing I'm going to cut up uh, this is a medium size cauliflower so this is the size that I'm going to cut them in so I'm going to add the cauliflower Just gonna leave them there for another eight minutes until they are golden crispy. One. Right. So you're gonna cover cover the pot and leave the stove on medium heat for eight minutes. The mushroom is tender, so now it's time to add garlic. So I'm using two peg of garlic, three peg of garlic. Sorry. One. I'm adding about one teaspoon of parsley. About a quarter teaspoon of salt. Are to your tasting. And I'm adding a bit of black pepper. You could add about a quarter teaspoon. Right. so I'm just going to go ahead and stir this and I'm just going to let it simmer for another three minutes okay so guys this could go as a main dish or it could go as a side dish whichever one guys I just add some fresh thyme and at this point if you have vegetable stock you could also um, add three tablespoons of vegetable stock, but as it is right now, I'm not gonna use any vegetable stock. Okay. 